It's March, didn't expect to see us. You knew we had to do it. Pow, pow, pow! All right, welcome to an off-season Buffalo Bills pregame show. Big news in the Buffalo Bills front, big news in the NFL world. For one day at least, the attention of all of ESPN was on Buffalo, and that felt fantastic. Dark Wait, game. ESPN pays attention to something besides Boston, New York, and Chicago? I know, since March yeah. Madness really spoiled our parade, but for, for one moment we had the, all the glory of the sun, and Mario Williams, the most sought-after, non-Peyton Manning free agent, was signed here by the Buffalo Bills this year. Reaction? Uh, hang on. I think I just crapped a brick. Can you see it? <laughs> I smell I, it. I'm sure you do. Uh, seriously, I don't believe it. It's... it's just eye-opening. I cannot believe that the Bills, Ralph Wilson, spent money. I thought he was going to save it for his kids after he uh, kills over, but instead he actually spent some money to, on the team. It, he freaking spent <laughs> money! I can't believe it! Uh, well, you knew he was going to have to eventually with the salary cap floor increasing. Um, <laughs> Like, some money had to get spent eventually. It's been so long that you think, just like in baseball terms, that there's been so many off-seasons without any signings that maybe we're just due for a big one. Um, well, I was expecting, you know, like a Derek Dockery, Langston Walker, here, let's overpay some slouch uh, and pay them up uh, so we hit that minimum number. And instead, wow. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality of the free agent market, is that you're going to be overpaying no matter who you get. Like... Someone's, whether it's the Bills or not, someone's going to overpay for Mario Manningham extremely because of one catch he made in the Super Bowl. It's just nature yeah. of the beast. And I like the fact that if we're going to overpay for someone, that it it's better be a really good player. Yeah. yeah. An impact player, someone who's going to make a difference. Best defender the Bills have had since Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith, of course. That's the natural comparison. I don't know how I like it. I mean, until I see Mary Williams passed out at a red light because he's drinking and driving, I'm going to be hesitate to make the Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Smith references. Um, but this is a big deal for well, Mario Williams. I mean, his last contract he signed before the draft even, Houston signed him before draft day. Yes. So he's never really been in the situation where he had the chance to choose anywhere to go. And as a Buffalonian, it feels great that he chose us. Like, he could have been in San Francisco as a sexy city. Chicago wanted him really bad. I mean, there's there are 31 other cities he could have moved to, and he chose oh, yeah. Buffalo. Well, that's just it. I mean, you could look at almost any team but Baltimore would it say, yeah, he's an upgrade. I mean, when it comes down to a front four where you're looking at it with Merriman, Darius, Williams, and Williams, my mouth is freaking watering. I'm, I'm in like a, a football wet dream right now. I cannot... Words cannot express the the euphoric joy I have right now. Well, you about are that. you are ecstatic. Um, <laughs> of course, being the jaded Buffalo Bills fan that I am, and in the negative world that I like to be, this is a quarterback. Oh, it's a quarterback offensive centered league, and obviously the Bills have made a commitment to not having a top flight quarterback. So, what's the next best thing to not having the best position of you know the best player at the best position is having someone who's going to neutralize our best you know the other team's best player and well, and a, a good defense will be a good offense some days well, well, and Tom Brady is well, much more dreading facing the Buffalo Bills now you know, now than he was last well, week think about it last year uh, when we abused Brady to the point where we beat them that was because the pressure actually got in there weren't uh, too many sacks but they were in his face. Uh, sometimes a sack is great always, but you know what? Getting pressure on the quarterback is always going to raise a lot of hell. The air, the air, air passes, uh, incompletions, interceptions, uh, those are huge there. I mean, as we learned earlier in the season, we have a secondary that is capable of producing turnovers. I mean, yes, we have... Uh, well, now we have a defensive coordinator that's uh, beaten the Bills twice in the Super Bowl, so... Well, I mean... The, Talk about Wanstead for a second. Do you think he was a big part of the reason that Mario signed? You have a former NFL head coach who's a defensive coordinator. Uh -huh. He was there on the plane to pick him up in North Carolina. He was with him the whole weekend. Well, so is Kyle Williams. Uh, of course, yeah. You gotta you gotta have your right assets there. If they were bringing Ryan Fitzpatrick and Shane Gailey there, Mario would have been like, "Who the hell are these guys? And what the hell do they know about uh, running a forty front?" 
Yeah, the, the change with Mario Williams coming in, it looks like a change back to the 4-3 is almost for certain. Well, what, yeah. I mean, what will be, when this is all said and done, what will your memories of the 3-4 era in Buffalo be? Just a catastrophe? Did they actually run a 3-4 more than like two plays a game? <laughs> well, they got cut up early in the season pretty bad, and then they went to like the changing front with well, people getting up. The only thing that was nice about it was the fact that they had bigger players getting cut up for 200 yards a game on the ground as opposed to uh, the cover two crap that we were dealing with before where we gave up 200 yards a game on the ground. <laughs> Um, I don't know, the 3-4 was a reaction to a fad in the NFL, and the Bills never had the personnel, and they tried to crowbar a scheme in. And well, that's just that the only players that really fit for that system were Darius, uh, Williams, Barnett, Shepard. Kelsey was like a, a lost wolf on the 3-4. I was surprised and they signed him back. And in the middle of that, they re-signed him back, but I mean... Now that signing looks a lot better, having a solid player at the price well, we got him at. That's just that Kelsey will be in on certain downs and Merriman will be in the rush of passer uh, quite a bit. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Uh, one of the casualties, I think, of the changeover will be Dwan Edwards. Solid 3-4 player, but he's not really a D-tackle too much. He's not really a DM in the 4-3. So I can see him uh, possibly uh, leaving the team. So, so in a lot of sports, you have a reaction to the who won the championship the year before. Yes. Um, the Giants, everyone had a hard on for their de defensive front. How right. do you think the Bills' defensive front now compares to the Giants' de Super Bowl winning? Legitimately speaking, they have five players that can get to the quarterback, uh, and that's actually counting Kelsey, who did have some good games as a pass rusher last year out of a four-man front. Uh, that said, that will be huge because... You have two linebackers right now that are worth anything between Shepard and uh, Barnett. They don't have a third linebacker. That, it's been a weakness for four years now. They haven't had enough linebackers, and it never made sense to go to a 3-4 when they were short on linebackers even then. So now What is Brian Pop doing these days? Bryce Pop? Bryce Pop. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know what? He hasn't been in the league for 10 <laughs> years, but he'd be worth a shot. I, sure. I, at this point, we can try anything at linebacker. I mean... Well, it's, it's a bit, it's not, his, like you said, it's been a, a sore spot for the team for a while. That said, there have been, uh, Kirk Morrison actually had a, uh, a great tweet about Mario coming over, and I'm dropping the, the line on that, but it was something along the lines of, of welcoming uh, him back, and, or welcoming him here, and if you look through, a lot of the Bills were in contact in some way, shape, or form, trying to uh, promote him and keep him uh, interested here. Uh, even before that, with Stevie Johnson and uh, Merriman, they were trying to get uh, Vincent Jackson here via Twitter. I think the players are doing a lot of the recruiting. And I think that speaks of Chan Gailey creating a positive atmosphere in the locker room. Do you think that, do you give any credo to the thought that Mario Williams, Williams coming here is going to make other free agents give Buffalo a longer look in the future? Yes, I definitely think so, especially if the Bills are willing to spend the money. Uh, they're starting to show a commitment to sign key free, uh, their own key talent as opposed to going, hey, that's one Winfield, you're kicking butt in Minnesota, along with Pat Williams? Oh, that's nice. Takeo Spikes, you're still doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, that's great. They keep, uh, they've kept letting talent go, and it, of course, it backfires uh, after so long. Like Marshawn Lynch, well, you know what, trashing the city on the way out of town. It's interesting that Mario Williams, his reaction to his couple days in Buffalo was so opposite of Marshawn Lynch's or purported well, to be. Well, yeah, but then again, to be fair, in recent times you've had uh, Joffrey Lupo of the Maple Laughs uh, trash in the city, uh, Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. So, yeah, the, I mean, Buffalo, great place to live. It's not uh, full of five-star hotels uh, and all that but stuff. But that money he just made is going to go so much further in Buffalo than it in any other city. I mean, well, yeah. you're in uh, New York, you sign with the Jets or the Giants, a million dollar home. Sure, you could have an illegal immigrant Canadian, you know, <laughs> <laughs> a Canadian maid. Yeah, I'm sure from Houston, coming from Houston, I'd be glad to have some Canadian immigrants. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, well, I had no idea of Mario Williams was coming to Buffalo. I bet our producer, Jared, a dollar that he wasn't. So here's your blood money, Jared. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a dollar poor, but the excitement was definitely worth a dollar. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm glad that he's here. It's going to make the Bills games, the excitement leading up to the season, way more. Well, it's going to lead to excitement in the games a in lot the more, too. too I mean, sure. We got an offense, we have a defense that we might be able to get, make We can just get ourselves place. a quarterback. Well, that said, happy St. Paddy's Day. Happy Go Bills. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Go Bills. Shazam. Shazam.